is wandering in. Scott, my boy, nephew, lovely loads, my boy. And think, all right, how's the family, Scott? Hope you're all right, my boy. Mm. Let's see who's in the house tonight. We always got to start at about 100. Strangers in the night, pure bombs tonight. Come on, let's get it on. Uncle Yami breaks it down properly. You asked me, you said to me, when I put up that video two weeks ago, five of you said to me, Uncle Yami, do your research first. Get your dates and times right. Billy, love you, Billy, J.O., right? He said, London Shadows, leave it, London Shadows, we'll get that little bit at the end, yeah, 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 yeah. Jay Shaw, my boy, Russell, everything cool. You said to me, do your research, Uncle Yami, get your dates and times right when it comes. Wayne, I love you too, my boy. Colin Campbell, yo, 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 Stevie, boy, Island, we love you. Darren Bolton, come, let's go then, come, we stand up on my tour tonight. We remember, pastures old and new, Uncle Yami, you lot said to me, you five, you said, Uncle Yami, you got all your dates and times wrong when I mentioned the Longfellow. I'll put that video up there. Because remember, I've got limited information from prison because of what I read, what I know, who I spoke to. And remember this, the second time that I met the Longfellow was in 1999 in Belmarsh, right? House Block 4, everybody was there at that time. Let's not forget that. Right, so we're going to start off, we'll drum those bits in, and then we're going to move on to Essex. Wow, Bernard Mahoney, you dropped a big one in there last night. Come on, let's get the guns out. Let's do the gun slinging tonight. Uncle Yami brings it properly. We did 100, yeah, Mo, I love you, my boy. Laurie, my little girl, man, where you been, man? America, we love you, Ian Irving, my boy. Always, always, always. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I can't start unless there's 100. Otherwise, I just got to love you all tonight, and we leave it. <laughs> All right, we got that one right, right? Yeah, I saw it, I saw it, I saw it. I had a look, you lot sent it over to me. I was laughing, man, off the source. Big up, my boy, always. Yeah, man, you too. Oi, ABC, good, man, Colin Campbell. Yeah, I'm going to tell you, we'll get to that. Let's deal with the long fella first, with the facts. Then we'll move into Essex. Uncle Yummy breaks it down funny tonight and clinically. After all that time, stay with me, my people. Gaz Paul, come on. You asked me the question the other day. Come on, we'll bring it on then. All right? From this bit to that bit. Who said what? What theory is this? How they did that bit? What does it matter? In the end, you've got eight, nine different stories. I got them all too. But the one thing they forgot to realise, that Uncle Yummy might have been. But hold on. We'll get to that bit, all right? No playing about tonight. Clinical business. You know what I realise? All right, leave that bit because I've got work to do soon. I've got to do work to do first. Big up. Nice one, Jed. Nice one, man. Del Strain. Night, I love. Oi, are we dealing with it? Oh, 104. Let's go. First things first, I'm a realist. We always knew Uncle Yami. We speak from a prison environment because Uncle Yami was never out, right? We did that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, forget that. Forget them silly questions for now. Just let me get on with this part. Stay to the end if you want to ask those questions, right? Uncle Yami only reports from what he read inside for those connected to this and that, those bits of paperwork where they said Uncle Yami was a top barrister. Yami, what do you think of this? Read that. Hold on. I met the Longfellow in 1986. I told you this. I ain't got permission to talk, but I don't see what harm I'm doing. Because you know, if you look, if you was with Uncle Yami in the category A's and I saw something in you, Uncle Yami reports it to you today. Right, 86, I was a watery-eyed little boy. I used to lap with him in Wormwood Scrubs in 1986. Forward we go to 1999. Belmarsh. Remember, you listen to my story, we know that I was getting refused at all gates. Bill Moss didn't know what to do with me. I was turning up at Parkhurst, Blunderstone, Swellside, Norwich, Strangeways. I was getting to the gates during that, um, you remember the Wednesday bus, you lot that know, uh, with the international thing where you get on the bus every Wednesday and go to that little place down in wherever it was. And I used to get refused at the gates. No, he's been here before. We don't want him because why? We knew. Bunga, where are you? John Porter, come on, my boy. Let's bring it on tonight, then. Come on, then. I'll bring it down to you. I'm going to break down Mahoney as well. You're not going to laugh. Right, what's this? In 1999, I was going back and forth from Belmarsh. Every time I got checked, remember, I ended up in Loudoun Grange after that bit in 2000. If we remember rightly, who did I bump into 15 years later from 1986? The great Longfellow. 
right? I had the ponytail, them days. My chest was big. But when I saw him, I came running up to the long fella, all hyper up on the gear. Sadly, he went, is that you, Sammy? I said to him, yeah, Dave. That's me, my boy. He said, nah, man, you've changed. Are you one of that stuff? I said to him, yeah, I am, uncle. He goes, yeah, me, don't come. He made me feel a little bit funny. When on the second meet, that time there, because you know, I was bigger, I became yummy after that bit, right? I became yummy, we all knew that from little Sammy that he saw in 1986. You knew in his presence and his aura, Uncle Yummy was overawed. We knew that I was taken in by big names, LTL, um, JG, TA, all of them from way back in the day, all of them GN, all of them Uncle Yummy love, but we know in later life, we don't look at things the same way, but we remember the love and the camaraderie from prison. I bumped into him in 99. He gave me the paperwork. There was a geezer called Paul Kavanagh, right? You lot, I'm glad you told me to do my research because I've got little bits stored in my head. You lot have the privilege of looking up information out here about court cases and that thing. Uncle Yami doesn't do all that. You know what I'm like, man? I don't do it that way, man. I remember little bits. You lot pulled me up on it. Bob Matthews, etc. You lot, the other lot, saying, yeah, about Jimmy Holmes and all that. All right, we'll get to all that. Sweet, sweet, sweet. I'm going to get to all that, right? I'm going to get to all that. But now I looked it up. I Googled. I went through to I'm thinking, but those bits you got from jail, yeah, I mean, out here, the other bits that you never looked at, that joins, I still came to my conclusion, and I looked at it, and I remembered the paperwork that passes around wings at certain times, there was a geezer called Paul Kavner. I met you too, right, you got eight years for fraud, right, you pass through the locals, Brixton, Wandsworth, um, Belmarsh, etc, etc, they, they slipped me through quickly, and you ended up in a decap, but you saw Uncle Yami first, right, listen to this one, when I saw the long fella, he said he was in jail. He was in jail for a GBH times one, two or three. I can't remember properly, right? But section 18, right? On, allegedly, Paul Kavanagh, right? So I bumped into Paul Kavanagh after I'd read that paperwork so I knew who he was, right? So he went like this, look. He said, I'm glad you not told me this, you know. I deliver it good and bad. I do it the way that I do it, mate. But I'm not going to come up here and make a fool of myself unless I know that I'm in the right for doing what I'm doing. Those, those, those are the facts, right? So I read them. They said the long fella, right? But I realised straight away when I read the paperwork, it looked like the police pressured Paul Kavner to press charges. Why do I know this? I read Eltel, the Arifs, all their paperwork over the years. The same bugging and surveillance team that was on those two was on the long fella too. I read that with my own eyes, right? So that made me think police corruption and all that. Uncle Gabby doesn't get it after 35 years. It doesn't make no sense to me. But Paul Kavner ended up in a decap. These are the bits I remember reading, right? He took an overdose, right? He was vulnerable. The, um, the prison officers said, hold on, he's weak. They phoned the police, Scotland Yard. This is fact, you know. I read these things. You know, if I tell you that, you know that um, Uncle Yummy's keeping it real now that you lot told me. And they said, yeah, you're better off pursuing charges on the long fella. Why? Because you spent millions of pounds trying to get those free uh, alleged teams, right, with all your surveillance, but you've never got nothing. Those, those, those are the facts. So you needed something to go back to headquarters with to say, hold on, we got this, Paul Kevin, look, we got something after all that bugging and all that. Really, in reality, you never got nothing. A.B. Archer, Benji, no, you never got nothing. I read it all. You see what I'm saying? I've done, my, I've done my research since you told me, right? Nobody's told me anything. I'm coming up here and I'm sticking myself on the line. Paul Kavanagh, they got, but he saw sense. He dropped the charges. Alleged cutting over something. I don't even know all the facts, right? But I read certain things. I'm only telling you what I remember, right? But they dropped the charges. I think the long fella done four, five or six months remand and walked out. Once again, the only time that he's ever been in custody... Right? Really waiting on charges or supposed charges, he gets off. So then if we're to believe everything that we're ever to believe, that he's indestructible, that he's this bit and that bit and all that. Hold on a minute. Nobody was, was ever that great. Even though Uncle Yami puts him at the great, greatest of all time with his personnel 
and the way he carried himself. I swear, I used to call him Yardy sometimes because he had a gold teeth. Uncle Dave, Uncle Yami remembers him. Because even though he used to say, Yami, the gear, you're giving them all a chance. Your enemies, Yami, you don't need it. It's a prison thing, Yami. You've got to remember, man, you've got your big, you're bigger than that. And then I used to feel offended. Two days later, I used to see a registered post. Yami, get yourself some food and all that. I don't like to see you with a sweet little boy in 1986. Those are the things that Uncle Yami remembers, man. So I'll tell you what I know, yeah? They drop the charges on that. I get round to what you lot, five of you, are pinpointed over these months, right? Right? Well, I'm not going to name nobody, but the Gillard, the journalist. You didn't tell me until I Googled it and went done my research the other day. You never told me that Gillard and Jimmy Holmes were doing underhand stuff, just like the corrupt police were undoing underhand to get who they want to get, to try and pull it, just like they did with the Essex lot. Remember those days? That's how it was. Let's not get away from all that, right? You didn't tell me that Gillard, that journalist, did a report on Jimmy Holmes, because I knew, I remembered, even though, you know, enough time Dino and they get a laugh, the right Jimmy Holmes this time, yummy, because, you know, I get confused. We know about the injuries and that kind of stuff. Benji, right? So what's this? He wrote in the Sunday Times that Jimmy Holmes was a rent boy and a paid police informer. But I'm not listening to that. I'm not here to talk about it today. But I noticed none of you told me that bit until I looked in the Sunday Times and saw that, uh, that thing there from way back in the day because Gillard got, got the ump with Jimmy Holmes and because Jimmy Holmes was seeing him every week, taking a few quid off him. But then he worked out, Victor, come on. That's what he did. And then Gillard's going, oh, you're telling me too many fannies here. The same Judas Pink thing, 30 murders in there, but nobody's ever been pulled in and questioned over there. So Gillard saw he got the up with you and put that in the Sunday Times, which led me to William Allen, a.k.a. Billy Allen. The same journalist. The same journalist Gillard again. How can... Yeah, my mind don't get too excited tonight. How can you be a journalist and report on stuff, and don't give the two-way story. Come on. Come on. You took the case on with Billy Allen, with, all right, so I Googled, I, I looked on my, on my history when you told me to, so I come up with a fact. Chicky Matthews, a land, a, a land of something, right? Billy, Math, um, Billy Allen said to him, Olin, he was telling old gangs, um, gangsters around him that um, um, the land was valued at, Darren Bolton, land, he was, the land was valued at 100 million, when really in reality it was sold for 3 million, right? But you, Gillard, went and, and reported your stuff as a journalist in that courtroom with the great Longfellow, right? Right, but what the public didn't know was this bit, and Uncle Yami breaks that down clinically, is that Gillard, you got a hard one for the long fella, without a shadow of a doubt. With Jimmy Holmes, I don't know if that's true about Jimmy Holmes. I've never investigated. You lot say that I pour that bit on Jimmy Holmes and that because I like the long fella and all that. All right, well, all well and good. But Gillard done the same thing, didn't he? And when it suited him, he switched and ripped that in the Sunday Times. And then he brought that bit with William Allen in there. It only showed me that that's how the world, the world goes with social media. I'm going to get round to the Essex thing after. You listen to Uncle Yummy tonight, right? And those, those, those are the facts. So you turn up in the court case, the battle over the land and dispute with Chicky Matthews, with Billy Allen, right? The so-called thing. But I know that you, Billy Allen, and the long fella, whether he cares or not, I don't know, man. I don't really... I'm just saying what I know to you lot. You lot had a deal. You met in... You two never met in a restaurant, but representatives on both sides agreed to meet in a restaurant, right? You agreed to meet, meet, meet in a restaurant. Life's not blinded by the lights, right? You've agreed. So you went in there on that restaurant meet. You said, all right, well, go to the court case to support the case. Chicky Matthews, blah de blah de blah. Um, um, as far as I remember, from what I remember, good um, the long fella only got involved because of his dad's friend or something like that. I'm not too correct on that. It doesn't really matter. But you had a gentleman's ag agreement with the representatives that were in the restaurant that night. And you said, all right, we'll go to court. We'll do it this way with that way. We'll just stick together and blah, blah, blah. They showed you in a video... The long fella coming in with five geezers, right? And there was some little mix-up in the a bungle. Where are you? There was some mix-up where they traded in the back room or something. That's not on camera, but that's what they suggest. I wasn't there. I can't tell you about it. What they didn't show you was after that gentleman's agreement in the restaurant, 
that you went in, you, you shook on it, and you said, we'll come alone with the representatives, we're going to court. But he didn't tell you that on the first day, the long fella came on his own. And that you, Billy Allen, sadly, for whatever reasons, you turned up with five, six geezers and tried to intimidate the long fella. He's only a human being. The second day you reported that on camera with him walking in with five, you didn't report on the day before. These are the facts about things when you're reading them. I mean, I'm getting around to Essex in a bit. You get ready for this, right? So that, then the scuffles happen because you know that you've not kept to your part of agreement. The argument that Uncle Yami has today, and I'll tell you that straight up and down, I'm not frightened to say nothing about anything. You lot got a license to go up there and report anything you want to make any individual look like how they want. I remember when they done that to me, but the only thing, they was telling the truth. They reported on the, yeah, he was abused as a little boy. Even though my thing was true, you reported in the paper. When I read it, I was so hurt that people, I'm not scared to let that bit out now. But in the Longfellas case, you reported that bit Gillard, you took on the case like you did with Jimmy Holmes with a long fella, but you came into that courtroom and represented Billy Allen. But what you didn't tell everybody was that Billy Allen was a... You said he was a good property developer, a clean living man, straight up and down. You never told him about him wrapping up his stepdaughter who he grew up from a little kid um, in a bag of carpet and hit her on the head. Not once, not twice, not three times. You hit her on her head 16 times, your stepdaughter. I'm sorry, man. These are the facts. This is what it's written up as. And they're all over because you talked to a black man, allegedly. But again, with the thing, the alleged, I can't talk about the alleged hitman Tony Smith and all that because I ain't got the facts, right? But I remember the little things with this, um, the dad and mum as well because remember they got... That's what I'm trying to say. So, But I ain't got that. I'm not going to bring that up now. I'm just on about Gillard because Gillard, you defended a man with all that history that in reality, in a prison environment, he wouldn't be able to stay on normal location for those kind of crimes. You've got to be honest about this. But you defended him the way you defended Jimmy Holmes at first. I've got no problem with Jimmy Holmes. I ain't asked nobody about Jimmy Holmes. I was away 35 years. I've never heard of Jimmy Holmes. I never. I heard about everybody else. Yeah, man. Come on, man. Yeah, but, but come on. Answer me. Bring it to me. If you know, you know. But you stood that against the long fella, and he's meant to be involved in police corruption, like Eltel, like the Harris, like the. But um, um, things to. Corruption with what? But he couldn't get out of a little court case like that! With all you lot telling you, giving one side of the story, my argument is why not give two sides? Why not? What's the difference? If you're going to go up there and say he's a property developer, I've always worked out. I'll put it up on my community page. It's up there for you to see, right? I've been waiting. I'm glad you don't want me to get my facts straight because I'll deliver it properly. And I'll always deliver what I believe to know. Miscarriages of justice. People, cookie. Come on, man. It's up there. I'll put it up there on my community page. Go and read it. That's what Gillard done. And I don't care what you say. You wanted to say the same thing about me. I've done a John Ass. I sent the police around everywhere where there was no results and no one lived there. But they still talk bad about me. Don't make me laugh. Matt Leg, come on, man. Let's fair, fair, fair in the game of all that, that shit from way back in the day, right? But Uncle Nami tells you today that with Uncle Dave, all right, it's a prison thing. All right, all right, all right. But Uncle Yami tells you today, you know, this is a clean, so I've been still drinking, enjoying my life and that, right? Yeah, right, And yeah, Go on, you see what I'm saying? And, oh, sure, no, 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 Uncle Yami would know. This is the best I've been since I've been out. But I won't. I love the long fella. Karina, I love the long fella. You know me, I only look at the prison thing. When I looked at Uncle Dave from prison, I said, I love him, you know. I love the way he took me as a kid. I saw him later on in life. He didn't like the way I was behaving. But Uncle Yami stands tall for him on that thing. You know, the greatest of all time, Uncle Yami tells you categorically from that life from back in the day. I don't know what's facts or fiction with the stuff on the outside. I don't really care. I only tell you what I saw in there. JG, TA, um, the long fella. I put the long fella as the greatest of all time. I've got to tell you. From the get-out, we know how I feel about that. We know who that belongs to as well. But I tell you straight up and down. They were not ready for the long fella. For all the talk they're talking, where's everything that you ever said? Right? So I'm just thinking, what do I need to address on that? Should we go into the, um, should we go into the Essex thing? Well, 100%. You know what I mean? Look at the community page. That's what Gillard was, in, in effect, representing and standing by. Because you got a hard-on for the long fella. 
hundred percent. I hope the long fella remember. I hope I ain't said nothing out of order, but I know I was ready for this tonight. You know what I mean? Uncle Yami only comes up when he knows. He knows he's got stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, man. Matt Leg, yeah, man. Yes, yeah, I mean, nice one, my boy. Who? Yeah, yeah, G, man. Yeah, man. Ke oh, hey, Kimmy, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Anthony, I love you, my boy. Just cool. You're yeah, but don't, don't worry about the views. Uncle Yami don't care about that, yeah. Man, I made mistakes when I was younger, but I'm not going to stand by with the life I led in there and those figures when I was down on the ground and I was out and I remember they looked after and we know that's part of my story that all the big names that ever existed, they loved Uncle Yami. For whatever reason, when I saw Uncle Dave, Neil, man, come on, man. When I said Uncle Dave, yeah, yeah, I thought it was that, yeah, like with El yeah, uh, Uncle Dave. Yeah, he said, yeah, no, 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 I don't want that from you. You're not that kind of man. That's what he said to me when he gave that Williams his, the trainers. Remember, he had holes in the train. I'm not going into all that to now, man. You don't get things wrapped up the wrong way, man. Uncle Yummy, don't give a fucking monkeys, man. Yeah, Popeye, man. Yeah, my Hong Kong. Let's do, deliver the real goods, man. That's who you was representing, Gillard. But you lot didn't bring that about Holmes to me, though, did you? You didn't do that, though. You didn't say to me, Shadow, they didn't do that. Peggy, yeah, man. You didn't do that. You didn't say, yeah, but Yummy, I was um, um, Gillard written that Sunday Times report until I found it the other day and I checked after you lot, Bob Matthews, etc. I said, yeah, you're just saying that because of that. What about the goody thing? But hold on, I've got argument over that too. But I don't know whether I'm allowed to say something because I ain't got a lot of information. Mind yourself and me, you know. Because I worked out since I've been out. I didn't know how properties worked out. I didn't know that if you was the, um, the freehold or lease, how does it work when you own a property but you lease it out to somebody else but you're not in charge of how they live their lives in that property down there in so Oh, Shut up, man. Shut up, man. I don't, I, I, when I get that information, you watch and see, I'll bring that to the table as well. Don't piss me off tonight, man. You know what I mean? I will stand by who stood by me and looked out for me as a boy from what I saw in prison, man. I'm not getting involved in people's crimes outside. You're mad. I don't do it. I wasn't there. I wasn't there. But I tell you, Uncle Dave, I look at him, I swear, he's good looking. He's the best looking one out of them all, though, isn't he? Let's have that right, though. I'll tell you that. Muscled up, thing with the reach, knockout. That's the difference between him and JGT. They're all similar that way because they had the looks and the thing and the, the presence and the character, but they still knock out your blood seed for you. Many of those big names you talk about, you can't move like them, man, there. They turn up now, oi, 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 yeah, yeah, my, my, my belief is my belief. So you come up here and shoot me down with your questions. Where are you tonight? Didn't tell me that bit about Jimmy Arms, though, with Gillard, did you? A rent boy and a paid and police informer. They got that banner. They sent a magical banner in the D-Cats, right? Into um, Kavna. And they, he's, the police sent him in there. Well, he's a paid informer as well, police informer. And they said, yeah, go on. You better go and go and give evidence against the long fella because um, he's going to kill you and all that. So that adds to all the thing, the fuel of the fire, and he's still got off. Those are the facts, man. What do you want me to say? I've seen it all, man. Essex. Yeah, but Essex, come on, man. Right. Have I rest my case here? Come back at me. Where are you all, man? You always want to know. No, I'm too fresh. Come on, man. What should we get round? Yeah. I'd love to know more, but DH, I've got up. Listen, I will get certain stories from back in the day. You know, he's a Christian now and all that. You know, he goes to church and stuff. He's not really interested in all the bollocks from back in the day. There's so much that's said, but I won't stand by. That's why I'm glad I've got you all, because I got there with half the stories of what I remember from prison. You lot marked my card and said, yeah, I mean, go and do your information. But I knew what I knew. Because I knew that I was banged up with certain people. People passed me their statements. People, I read these things over a long period of time, man. Yeah, nice, JC. Benjamin. Yeah, I said, exactly. Yeah, whatever, Joella, what drink, man? Shut up, man. What drink, man? What, you jealous? <laughs> I'm not sounding drunk, no, am I? I'm talking the facts, man. Freddie, I love you, man. G-Man, Matt Leg, Dan and Laura, my get on boy from Birmingham. I love you too, man. Yeah. Are you Essex? He can. He can. Trust me, they don't know Uncle Dave. I ain't seen him, but Uncle Yummy doesn't care about that. But I broke, thank you lot. Because I started doing research. You lot say, Yummy, just stay as you are. When you give half a story with a date, without the dates and times, we understand all that. But I'm glad I looked into that. Because the Jimmy Holmes supporters, I ain't got no problem with Jimmy Holmes. Apart from the book, really. Because you know that I love Uncle Dave. That's not, that's not a bad thing for me. But in reality... With Gillard, that follow one and that follow one. When I read all that, I said to myself, I knew that I remembered. And we're talking about the 90s, you know. You know how good my memory is on certain things, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, man, can you? Then where do we do it? I'm going to have to stand up and be counted. Behave yourself, you lot. I don't care, man. All of them got claimed to say, I ain't got a leg to stand on. I remember the prison thing, and I got to stick by that. I got to remember that, yeah, but hold on, but they was true, man. I never saw it the way you lot saw it out here. You know what I mean? I went, I went, I went, I'm privileged to see those kind of things um, with the newspapers and how they're reporting that here. Now I know that it's really prejudice. Wow, you could send a man, their families and everybody to prison and hell by just saying, yeah, we heard this, this bit goes with that. I don't like the Essex thing. It went on for years and years and years. And today I'll break it down. But in Uncle Yami, he all right. Let's stay strong for this one, right? But I think that clears it up. If you've got anything you want to say uh, about me meeting a long fella in those two periods of life, on the inside and those facts and figures that I read from different sources from all that time. Nah, nah, I don't believe that um, Jack Mums is guilty. No, I don't. No, 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 no. Kind of hurt me because when I was in the Cat A's, I kind of believed for a minute. But Uncle Yummy says, no, 100%, I do not believe that Jack Mums is guilty. Furthermore, right? And we get round to the Essex thing. All right, come we go, all right? <laughs> Oh, George, Uncle George, I love you, man. Right, so let's get into, get into the other bit now. <laughs> what French you know, Paul? Dan and Laura, I know you. I love you. I know I love you too, man. This was, yeah, I know. Just, so exactly, Del, Ricky. I'm not, I, I never spent no time with Mickey Steele. I saw him in Whitemore. He's not everybody's cup of tea. But Uncle Yami yeah, I mean, believes, you know, that if Jack Wombs, you know what I mean? I saw something in the courtroom once. I got that bit wrong. Uncle Yami yeah, always believed that Jack Wombs was 75% not guilty, right? It could never have been, right? I break it down today. Come, let's break it down. Because everybody's name gets called in that murder as well. Which you lot warned me about. You said that this bit down. All right. Let's go into Yami B mode now. Let's take the piss. Bernard Mahoney. <laughs> right, what's this one? Last night's documentary, The Great Bernard Mahoney. I'm kind of beginning to like Bernard a little bit, you know. All right, what's this one, right? He says, when my man's sitting across him at the table, the one line that was the most important, this is him. They're going to think that I told you to come on here to say all that. <laughs> That's what I was thinking, Uncle Bernie. <laughs> but no, I don't believe it was that. <laughs> But you dropped that one in, though. I know it's that one, right? Right? Right, Yami, don't make me laugh. Listen, boys. Nah. No. No, 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 no. So that's the first thing, right? Bernard Mahoney. Uncle Yami has to say, as time's gone on out here, with you, some people slagging him off and all that. Uncle Yami says that, but if in fact, Uncle Bernard Mahoney has probably stayed more true than most. I listened to some of you. All right, let me make my point. Billy Jasper. Now watch this. Billy Jasper says that, hold on, I was the man that drove the hitman. Huh? But that's Mr. D. Okay, cool. Patsy B, whatever his name is, says, yeah, I hired the hitman, but I don't know who he is. Oh, all right, then, got it. Um, what's his name? Nipper Ellis on his deathbed. Uh, 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 yeah, it was me. I did it after all that. All right, case closed. All right, cool, 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 cool. But hold on a minute. Uncle Yami says, when you said to me, you said to me, this is you, you said to me, yeah, I always believe that the hitman was European, right? Remember I said that first of all. Then you changed my mind. You lot came before that and you said, Yami, Yami, because I got somebody that I was in jail with as a little boy. I loved him, right? It was to do press behind neck together. When I was out one day, that's what I said. There's a man from South London that was in the frame kind of thing. But Uncle Yami tries to match things up around that. But that wasn't right either. But hold on. The great Billy Blundell, who speaks a lot of truth, Uncle Yami says, in reality, told my bestie, Patrick Tate, Pat, stay away from Tony Tucker. Don't get in anywhere with him. Huh? But it wasn't Billy Blundell that done all that to them three. If you get what I mean, but what that, if you have to believe Billy Blunder, we went on screen and said, well, I did tell Pat. Da, 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 da. So the only thing I'm happy about, I didn't know the other two. I don't really care, right? I didn't know them like I knew Pat. And you know that Uncle Yami will be hurt about that. But it's so amazing, the differences. And then, of course, Darren Nichols. I'm, look, I'm doing all my homework these days. But right? listen, listen, oi, JC. Doing all my homework these days, just Darren Nichols. 
They said that early on, Darren Nichols was in, he was getting Kentucky every day. The room was separated this way, in custody, 250 on his head. He went like that, right? But, but, hey, listen, listen to me. But he told some other super grasses in there, it's all a load of bollocks. I told a complete load of fannies and blah, blah, blah. But you lot knew that from way back in the day. But hold on. Now the police from back in the day are going on programmes and saying, yeah, it was a bod shot by the Essex police. It was corruption. and did it. Uh -huh. How many versions have we got to go through till we understand what's what? The biggest thing of all that Uncle Yami points to is that Billy Jasper or the other one, they, whatever, it was a big stain if you get what I mean, they say, Yami, but my man, the murderer, was a soldier. Uh -huh. But that's what the Eastern European man was. But he's not around no more. But hold on, Patsy's dead. Um, Ellis is dead. But the son said, but this one's dead. Everybody that ever mattered, they're dead. Or not in this country. But the, I, the hitman that I had in my mind was that. Probably wrong now, if you get what I mean. But what other soldier are you talking about? Because I've been in jail with everybody. And I could, I've been clean for a long time now. And you know, my brain's working overtime. I'm telling you, 100%. Who? What Englishman soldier? So Billy Jasper. But yeah, you knew you brought my man to the thing, but you can only go Mr. D. Everybody, yeah, Mr. D, Mr. D. But yeah, back passage, yeah, I put it out, it was me. It was me that pulled the trigger. All right, cool, cool, cool. It was over the bank robbery. Da, 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 da. My man went up here last night on Mahoney. Yeah, but I was only messing about just to show you that Jasper's thing's a load of shit. All right, cool, 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 cool. I get all that, right? I get all that. Right? But the Mahoney, I know that you all spy on Uncle Yami because you know I hold the key to everything. But I don't business. I don't business. It's not factual. Nobody knows anything at the end of the day. You've come out with so many different stories. It's no good coming up 25, 30 years later saying, yeah, there was a bodge job. They corrupted this and they swept it under the carpet. Don't make me laugh, man. You knew that Darren Nichols was telling lies. You knew that. It wasn't feasible. We knew that the times, all right, Soulsite was limited them days there, but I've done all my homework. It ain't that. It ain't that. It ain't that, man. It ain't that, man. I've got my thing, right? I've joined the prison thing with the outside information I've got now. I'll stand by, right? Right? I'll stand by, right, double? Yeah, no. Oi, all right, let me answer. Double, no. No, no, that's all bollocks with Rome's. It's all bollocks. Uncle Yami can't stand by and listen to that shit no more. Man, no, I get, I get that, yeah. And then another makes sense, but who's the geezer who said he arranged it? But you remember, Patsy was saying that, Nipper was saying that bit on his deathbed, they were saying, well, everybody. But the one thing you lot never knew, Peace Savage, the one thing, Paul Charlton, the one thing you never knew. In fact, it was Uncle Yami. It was me. But... I took out two of them. I didn't realise Pat was going to be in the van that night. And then after that, somebody else. Shut up, yeah, I mean. <laughs> but that's what all they're doing. All they've done is everyone, this one said this, this one said that, this one said this, this one said that. Shut up, man. That was my bestie in there cooking. <laughs> it was me. <laughs> it was me, man. It was me, man. After all that, it was me. <laughs> Come on, man. What we listen to this fucking bollocks for year after year after year? It don't mean that no man was ever big enough for that case there. Don't talk no shit to me, man. I don't believe it was Jack Wilms. I don't know about Mickey Steele. I don't care. It doesn't matter to me, right? But justice, justice prevails. At the end, I got my mind on two others. That he's, I told you. Uncle Yami's got something where something happened to me in the 90s before that. I was only out for six weeks, right? And that Eastern European, they, that happened to me, they come for me. But I knew that he loved me. One time I was away with him, he went like that. We was just in a, before the Queen, no, just after the Queen's pardon time, right? He said to me, Yami, I said, how come he's stronger? And when I first started training, he said to me, Yami, you're naturally stronger than all of them in the future, blah, blah, blah. So in my mind, I always thought, it doesn't mean that I'm right. 
because I put it with that one there over something. But it doesn't mean that I'm right, does it? I wasn't there. But I think then, yeah, but you made that bit. He said that bit. Billy Jasper said that bit. Patsy Barber said that bit. Um, um, Pippa said that bit. Um, Billy Brandon said that bit. Um, Darren, Bo um, Darren um, Nichols said that bit. But hold on a minute. Tucker. Bernard Boney. Yummy. Uncle Yummy says. Tucker. I went that way first, didn't I? And then I switched it around halfway through. I said, no, I think they're both as bad as each other. Blah, 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 blah. But in reality, that means I had it right first time around. It's the way that the game goes. I know, I know. There's too many people that they have problems with. Don't listen to that police story. It wasn't them. They never got rid of it. It's not the Leah Betts thing. That's what put them on the radar. And they don't really care because my man was a good serving police officer. He got that right. McGilvey and that. But I don't believe it. the rest of the shit he's saying. Where it's from. And hold on, this guy said that. Why do you believe that bit um, categorically? Because if he was in the police force, why didn't you say something then? Then you got all the brains now in hindsight later on in life, but you're going, oh, yeah, it points to that bit and that bit. And behold, he's there going like that because my man's just describing basically that Billy Jasper, the way that he said it, I can say it a different way too, and you're going to believe that. So that means we've got to believe what, everybody, what some of them believe that it was them two and that two or them two or whatever. I'm not going to say who they're pointing to. We all know who that is, right? But Uncle Yummy doesn't ride with certain things. I know deep down, in my heart of hearts, with my prison information, with everything I've learned outside, it's away from certain areas. You see what I mean? Because if it was fact, if there was corruption with the police, you have to bring all that up in the future. You have to go, right, this bit was uncovered. That, do you think that could go in front of a court of law? So really, we're all wasting our time. Because if one thing's uncovered that was unright, that means you've got to bring that one. They've got to face charges. That's going to be that one. That's going to bring that one. If that one was this one, we'll bring them all into the courtroom, eh? And the jury are going to go, oh, for fuck's sake. Ain't that the truth? We're all wasting our time listening to it all. Trust me, most of it is fantasy, apart from probably two bits. Uncle Yummy gives it to you straight. That's 38 minutes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're my Joanne, you're pizza. So what? You been, what nobody's ever saying that Pat Tate wasn't a bad man, right? He was a good man, Pat. He was a good man, man. What I saw of him, he was a lovable geezer, mate. They painted the wrong picture of him. I don't believe that he was meant to be the target that night. That's the one bit that I go along with. And I have to be honest with you, trust me, I do. Mm. <laughs> JC, what are they going to do then? What are they going to do? They're going to win their appeal. They have to come out. Mickey's still still a cat, eh? Right? You know what I mean? Think about it, man. You know what I mean? What are you going to do later on in life? Can't do nothing. Everything's propaganda, if you get what I mean. Right? Yeah, man, I love you. Benji, my boy, man. I know you did. Oh, you got it. You did. You told me, man. I knew that I got it in the end, you know, because I had to stay out, innit? it? Because my information is limited from prison, from what I heard. And you know, I just come up and double. Yeah, but uh, double. Yeah, but he's, he probably is. You know what I mean? But for Jack Wong, especially, Uncle Yummy, please, that is all right. But you know what I mean? Nothing will ever be cut and dried about anything. You don't, came with too many different things and too many different lines of inquiry. You run with that line first. It's a whole heap of bullshit. And people have to pay for it. It's as simple as that, mate. You know what I mean? There's no such thing, the corruption of murders and all that. They can't sweep that kind of stuff under the carpet, man. That's what they've done to a lot of those figures back in the day. They made you believe, yeah, but because of this, like, he never, Rick, I don't believe that. I don't, can't say that about Mickey Steele. How can he say that? You wasn't there. What leads you to say that about Mickey Steele? I can't say that. Gee, man, I can't say that. You know what I mean? I'd like to say that, but I can't say that. Yeah, man. Essex, come on, man. Nah, man. The one thing I know, right, out of it all, Uncle Yummy says, finally, at last to you all, I say Jack Rums is innocent. It's a liberty-taking thing. It's a real, it's a real, real shame that. That's why they let him out, because they knew, nice one. Um, go, no, Jack Wong just kept himself, he cried all the time. He was innocent, man. Mickey still, they don't like him, do they? You know what I mean? Whatever happens, S, tell the truth, man. Those are the deals, man. Those are... Joanne, I mean, I know, I know. But I'll, I'll speak the facts, but double, you know that, I know. 
You know that, my boy, man. And Uncle Yummy breaks that down clinically as best. I find it funny sometimes with the life that I've seen outside. Source, I see it. Now that I'm getting all sides and I'm thinking, wow. So that bit was that bit. That bit was that bit. Hold on, that bit was that bit. Wow, Yummy. But you lot made me see the journey. I understand this life is not good. They got the power to do anything they want. They've done it a number of times over the years. Just put people and said, right, we'll have this bit. Well, that fits the picture. We'll all go up there. You say that. And da -da -da -da. I'm not about that in later life, I'm afraid, man. Love me or hate me. Uncle Yummy will always do his best um, for what I've known. I will never come up here and defend anyone if I know that they are outright killers or murderers and that kind of thing. Uncle Yummy doesn't live like that. I wait for the facts to be on the table. They've done it with Barry George. They've done it with this one. They've done it with that one. You remember Michael Manson saying in court, yeah, but you lot listen to all the news. All he had was loads of paper clips. I've never seen a case where there was so much circumstantial without any real evidence. But you can still go into a British court and get convicted, man. Those, those, those are the facts. And my belief is, and I'll tell you categorically, Samantha, I love you, man. Oi, Samantha, I love you. Neil, I love you, man. Billy Bundle gave... Pat the nod, yeah, I believe that with Billy Blundell. Funny enough, I do. I believe that now with Billy Blundell. I believe it. I just can't find something apart from the fight with the A-team and Patsy and all that. Uncle Yami did respect Billy Blundell. You know what I mean? He's a straight-talking geezer. And I believe when Billy Blundell said that, that he meant it. I do, I do, I do. Honestly, I do. Right? Oi, Anthony. 100%, right? Yeah, but forget that. Galactic, forget it. Don't get involved in all it. Forget all that. We don't have arguments on Yummy BTV, man. We'll leave that and we keep it real to the bitter end, man. Yeah, Uncle Yummy says, that's a straight talking man if ever I've seen one. Billy Blundell. I believe that bit. You know what I mean? I believe that. It's messy too fresh. Uncle Yummy knows, you know. One day you're going to find out. But Uncle Yummy... You know what I mean? We sit tight because as time unfolds out here, I talk about the prison stuff, you know what I mean? And the way that certain journalists and people, the way you lot do your things, I've seen it firsthand now that you can make anything seem like it's anything. You know what I mean? But in reality, you lot got, just follow the crap. It's mad, isn't it? It's deep and people got to suffer because of the stuff you do. But the one thing you never told them, especially on the Giddard thing, you, is it? Eternal Tom, don't make me laugh. Big up danger for Gary Taz. Always, my boy. G-Man, you know what I mean? And that's what I've got to say, man. You know what I mean? You lot, you lot, sh you lot short change. You lot listen to short change stuff sometimes and you make up your own mind in life about things and you go, he said this, well, go listen to that. Well, listen, so what bit does it mean then? What bit? You know what I mean? I know the one thing I don't agree, agree with is Darren Nichols. I've got to tell you that. That's definitely shit. I'll be honest with you there, 100%, right? Um, but you will always know, you know, they're looking in the wrong side of town, man. It's way, it's far away. It's a bit more, a more deeper with others, but they're coming with this bit. This one comes up with that bit. But Uncle Yami says, peace and love to you all, man. I think I'm gonna go on TikTok, you know. I've got another dinner, I've got my angels. I came up to deliver the job tonight and that's what I did. I love you all dearly. Is there anything else? Cookie is, yeah, it's a mad thing. Karina, all right, what should we, what should we do? do I, yeah, 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 double. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ian, we know all that. We know them kind of things. But is there anything else you lot need to ask me? Yeah, I mean, sip your wine, man. Fucking hell. I was, I fall asleep in a minute. I had a good night. I was shaking a leg last night. I was dancing with all the girls. I love it at the moment, boy. No drugs, but everything cool. Big up my uncle Melvin, Isabel, my baby Val, all my angels that have saved me over the months when I've been dying. You know what I mean? Uncle Yami points to them without them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Top one, London Shadows. You know, it makes me laugh, you know. They all make me laugh, you know. They all make me laugh. You see it from a mile off if you know what I know, if you get what I mean. And that Mungo, I knew, I know that you know my boy. We know the Vanku Yami. We deliver it properly and clinically if we got the facts. And those out there talking the way that they talk, they're making money off this and talking that they're shit scared because if their story doesn't come or go the way that they portray to everyone, if there's new things, then that means that they sold everybody dreams with what they said was the facts. Those, those, those are the facts. You know what I mean? Everybody got to squirm at night over something. T.A. said that to me the other day, my sister Lisa, that's their business. Only God can judge 
in the end. But you can't point the finger from 10 different positions over this one said that one and that one and corrupt. Ah, oh, shut up, man. Because if that was the case, then what were you listening to? What they were going to come to court? If there was ever a court case, what do you say? Yeah, but what about that one and that one? People with strong legal teams, they'd be able to do that. You know what I mean? So you're wasting people's time. So it's not going to happen, is it? You know what I mean? Because if you bungled it and you corrupted or you was in that way with all the teams that you ever fucking surveillance, those, those, those are the facts. So we're all wasting our time listening because we're never going to know, are we? So it's bollocks. You might as well say that it was Uncle Yami then. I came over the wall in, when was it? 95 Christmas, right? I just left Swellside. I went to High Down after being stabbed from Swellside, right? The whole yard rushed me. Remember, they come for H, but I got involved. I ended up in High Down. But hold on, I got off the escort. So I was actually out that night or that day when it happened. So it could possibly be the great Uncle Yammy. You know what I mean? Yeah, then boy, there. yeah, Yammy, we need you to do that. You're the hitman from jail. Let's come and do that. But we knew if I said that, they said that, he said that, he said that. But hold on a minute, who's to say? Whatever it was, it was all a load of bollocks. Those, those, those are the facts. <laughs> that leads you on a goose chase. It was all absolutely bollocks. And we salute those that were the greatest of all time. That looked after Uncle Yami and stayed true to me. And I would always deliver for them cookie. Don't make me laugh. But I oh, know I got more. We're going to come. Dean Gray, I love you too. John Nobby, I love you too. JC, I love you. Jammers, my boy. Needs you. What's the score there? When we play Liverpool, right? Those are the facts, right? 1 1 2. Oh, let's go. You make me laugh, you know. 1 1 2. John Calvin, you two. John Evett Scott, my nephew, man. I love you all, man. We're going to be winners at the end of this, man. Get ready for more fireworks tomorrow. I love you all, Neil. I love you all dearly, man. Those, those, those are the facts.